Hi guys, today's video is about Georgetown in Malaysia, one of my favorite cities in Asia. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions after the video, just drop a comment down below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can. Enjoy! From Malaysia's capital Kuala Lumpur, you can easily reach this amazing city in Penang Island by plane or by taking a bus and a ferry. It is Malaysia's second largest city with more than 700,000 inhabitants as of 2010, while Greater Georgetown has a population of around 2.5 million people. I came here with no expectation whatsoever, and both the city of Georgetown and the island of Penang, where it is located, have blown my mind with its rich culture, heritage, gastronomy, people and nature. Malaysia's tourism slogan is Malaysia Truly Asia, and I think they have definitely been inspired by this incredible town. The historical core of Georgetown has been inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2008. It was established by the British East India Company in 1786, meaning it was the first British settlement in Southeast Asia. It became a British Crown Colony in 1867. It was then subjugated by Japan during World War II, recaptured by the British at the war's end, and then attained independence from the British in 1957 together with the territories which are now Malaysia. During its entire history, it attracted migrants of various ethnicities and religions that arrived on its shores, meaning Georgetown acquired a large eclectic assortment of colonial and Asian architectural styles. Due to this ethnic mix, Georgetown is the food capital of Malaysia and renowned for its good and varied street food, incorporating Malay, Chinese, Indian, Peranakan, Thai and European influences into its literal melting pot. The city has been recognized as one of Asia's top street food cities by CNN, as well as the world's top culinary destination by the Lonely Planet in 2014. These were in addition to the Time magazine in 2004, which acclaimed Penang as having the best street food in Asia. The most popular dishes include Asam Laksa, Char Kway Tiao, Curry Mi, amongst others. Moreover, the city hosts unique cultural heritage, such as the legacies of Muslim and Hindu populations who migrated from India during the colonial period, and the uh, Peranakan Chinese, the descendants of Chinese immigrants who came to the Malay archipelago, whose legacies are still visible on Penang's architecture and cuisine. In 2012, Lithuanian artist Ernest Zakarevic created a series of wall murals depicting local culture, inhabitants and lifestyles. These artworks became so popular that they are now one of the city's main attractions and a hit on Instagram. They depict the unique aspect of Georgetown's history and culture, and they can be found throughout the city centre. Children on a bicycle is one of the most photographed spots in the city. Next to the city centre you'll find the Clan Jetties. Clan Jetties are one of the last bastions of old Chinese settlements on the island. This waterfront society is home to houses on stilts of various Chinese clans and are over a century old. Each jetty is named after a Chinese clan. The Chiu Jetty is the most tourist friendly with the most tilt houses, the longest walkway and the temple that is worth stopping by as well as plenty of places for those Instagram moments. And thanks to the large Pranakan Chinese population, the Chinese New Year celebrations in Penang are especially lively. The city's temples come alive with candles, oil lamps and hundreds of people buying and lighting up huge joss sticks. Joss sticks are a type of incense which is traditionally burned before an Asian religious image, idol, Buddha statue or shrine. And these are the biggest joss sticks I've seen in my entire life. They're just huge and super decorated.
On New Year's Eve, Malaysian Chinese turn up in their ancestral homes to eat, gamble and celebrate with their families. Their temples have very beautiful paintings and frescoes. Throughout the entire Chinese New Year season, Penang comes alive with countless parties and parades. I decided to meet up with two lovely locals of Chinese and Indian descent, Rin and Kavina, who took me on a guided tour through the Chinese New Year festival. We will write our number and we will throw. If we are single, we will throw into the ocean. The ocean. So if you want, you can just go and pick it up one. <laughs> Do they need to hit those statues or? Right. In my means you have many, many happiness. Welcome to your home. Yeah. Yeah, lucky number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a lucky number in Chinese. Yeah. yeah. It's like okay. rich, rich, rich. It's yeah. Like <laughs> The central hills of Penang Island serve as a giant green lung for Georgetown. Rising 833 meters above sea level, the peak of Penang Hill is accessible via the Penang Hill Railway, but we decided to take the four-hour hike from the base. Once you're at the top, you'll find the usual tourist activities. If you want to see the side of Penang that is not so touristy, I recommend you to walk by the coast where you can see the floating mosque in the North Shore and also how locals live, especially the fishermen. When you travel solo, you constantly meet new people and hang out with other travel buddies who share the same plans. After my Spanish friends left for Thailand, I went to explore the northwestern corner of the island, the Penang National Park, with two other fellow travelers. The park spans 1,200 hectares of land and sea and is used by scientists, researchers and nature lovers to explore the natural treasures. It harbors 417 flora and 143 fauna species. Monkey Beach is one of the few pristine beaches left in Penang because it is not as exposed to the pollution found along the west coast of the island. And as the name Monkey Beach suggests, the beach is inhabited by monkeys of the crab-eating macaque species. These monkeys are infamous for attacking tourists and stealing their belongings. They just chill around again, flexing around here. Within the park you can find green turtles, flying squirrels, flying lemurs and over 150 species of birds. On the beach itself, the white-bellied sea eagle can often be spotted. You can reach the beach either by a one and a half hour hike along the coast or by a short boat ride from the park entrance. Monkey Beach is considered safe for swimming, unlike many beaches on the island that are infested with jellyfish. Although it is relatively isolated, visitors to the beach are not uncommon and numbers increase especially during the summer tourist season. Then if you are willing to hike a further half hour uphill from the beach, you can see and climb to the top of the scenic lighthouse for great views. <laughs> 